up guys? Today I got my um, deck collection uh, kind of video. Um, I said I was going to be doing more uh, review, I mean, or more collection videos than reviews and pickups and stuff like that. Just because I'm saving for bigger things right now. Um, within a month I'll probably have all that stuff together so I'll probably be back into um, just buying a lot of stuff that I don't need probably. Um, but right now I'm just saving a lot. I'm only picking out very select things in the season. I'm not splurging like past seasons. So uh, I just thought, said I'm going to do a bunch more um, collection videos because I was hesitant to do it in the past because your collection's always changing and stuff like that. So I feel like collection videos are kind of like stupid. But um, this stuff pretty much, is, you know, it's my deck. It's my favorite thing. I just love how they go on the wall, how they look. It's like pieces of art. They tell a story. It's very conversational, like the whole thing. Um, just like a painting, but it's like a cooler little kind of 3D art form. Um, so I just said I'll show like some more collection videos. Uh, I did my hats last time and this time I'm going to do my decks. So um, let's just get right into it. Um, they're all on my walls, as you guys know. Like I've been posting pictures. I've been it's been my background for years. Like, of course, they've grown. Um, I'll take some off the wall and show them to you guys. Um, I'll start right here, at the bottom, the Supreme uh, Bling box logo board. Um, I think this was like spring. I got like the, all the dates down here because I like cannot remember all this stuff. Um, spring 2013, this came out. Um, this was one of the easier uh, with the T-shirts. Is one of the easier box logos to get. Um, I think this is a really cool uh, interpretation on the Supreme box box logo, I guess, kind of thing. Uh, I think it's really cool looking. It stands out. It's almost like a metallic finish on it. And the Supreme, just with like the bling and the diamonds, just really pops out. It's like really high quality. One of their cool, one of my more favorite decks I have from them. Definitely a cool version. Um, and then right next to that, um, I think from the next season was a whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Uh, fall winter 2013 was the the flags, um, they put this on a lot of different like clothing, they had the hoodie, all the flags all over it. Cool little um, deck. The thing I noticed about this deck, other than the bling one, this one's way lighter than the bling deck. Um, I think they're both pretty much the same uh, same shape and size. Kind of do like 8 by 32 and stuff like that. Flags logo deck, cool deck. And then next to that, one of the more exciting releases in the past kind of... Um, I don't know, probably five years, if not more. 20th anniversary um, Supreme collection. Um, this was in uh, 2014, uh, spring, spring, summer. I remember when they released uh, the news they were doing the box logos as I hit myself in the face with the board. I remember when they, when they had the, when I got the email when I was working when they were doing like the box logos and the decks. I was just super excited. Probably one of the more um, excited I've been for like a collaboration. Um, simple deck, white, fully dipped, Supreme box logo right there. On the back, you have a little 20th anniversary little ribbon. Super cool board. Fully dead boards always look cooler to me. Um, I think I skated. Um, yeah, I do have one of these skated. I'll show my skid boards at the end. I put on my wall that I, only the ones I put up. Like there's a million skated ones. I only put up the ones that I really like thought were cool. So that came out, and then with that one, kind of since they're um, opening in 1994, they had the spring box logo shirt, and they also came out with the, the taxi driver shirt. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, check out this movie. Really interesting, weird movie. Um, it's definitely got a different vibe than today's movies. Definitely a little bit, I think, a more deeper um, meaning to it. Um, this one, um, Spring Summer 14, like I said, just like the box logo. Small print, all, all black. Natural. That's super cool. It's natural wood on the top deck. And then we'll go up to these ones. Like I said, I'm going to have to take these off. These are my... These are my probably my favorite artist boards I have. Um, I just love the background story of them. I love how they look. Um, it's the Chapman Brothers, if you guys don't know. Um, these wore these fall winter 2012. These boards never sold out, like boards sell out today. Um, we got this little guy right here. It's all like, the Chapman Brothers do weird shit. They make fun of like McDonald's a lot and stuff. They have like Nazi little like dioramas and stuff. If you follow them on Instagram or Google them, you'll see these weird dio like diagrams, what's it called, like, uh, like a big old like model, like weird shit, just google it. Um, this is on the African tribe stuff, um, they did a display, they did like a showing where they had just a bunch of sculptures and stuff like that, but it was all like mimicking like America and they're like, um, kind of fascination with like the fast food, like that was our culture they were kind of saying, like you know, this guy, it's like, it's like an African tribe kind of guy, but he has a McDonald's fries and he has a McDonald's like cup. And this guy right here is on a cross, and he has a, he has a hamburger head. Like, it's this funny, dark, twisted shit. They also have, with these, they came out with the fucked, uh, like, the weird shit. Like, I wouldn't put on my walls, but it was, like, kids with, like, a, it was a dick nose, and then kids with, like, I don't even, I forgot the other one, like, a, 
like pussy face or something like that. I forgot what it was called, but I didn't want to put those on my wall. I didn't really like those too much. Um, and then with that, we got the, um, the Geiger fall winter boards. Can you see these? Um, right here, they put this one on. These are fully dipped blackboards. They put this one on, I think, a shirt and then a sweatshirt. I was in New York at Dover Street when they had the, the shirt. It was like a $98 shirt and it was like the shittiest faded cotton I've ever seen in my life. Did not get the shirt. Went to sale, but I still passed on it. And this one's one of my darker boards. A lot of people don't like this one. It's kind of a little like goat looking head and you got the naked lady in the background. But I love I love Geiger. A lot of, um, I'm into t t tattooing. A lot of like the Biomech guys, that's all they like. That's where that's Geiger right there. He started that whole like um, movement. So yeah, I really dug that Geiger. Um, cool boards, a little dark if you're not into them, I completely understand. Um, and then going from the top shelf, the ones you really don't see if I can get them off the wall. The ones you don't see too much in the videos. Ray's Pet Ray, uh, Petabone, fully dipped white boards. I forget, Fall Winter 2014 these came out. This is the Bang Deck. Um, I guess you call them like an illustrationist. I don't know if that's the right term, I don't know if he likes that. It's just kind of plain little graphics. I got this on a t-shirt, just the bang deck, pretty simple, cool little collab, a really interesting weird guy though, um, and then I got the second one from the series, another fully dipped white, I think this is like the blood and sperm deck, see so yeah, on the top it says blood and sperm all over the place, got a guy right here throwing up, simple cool boards, that's what, that's what I just love about boards, like it's like if someone's gonna stop by, look at that and be like, well what's the main, what's up with this board, what's going on, you know? Kind of like a cool conversation piece, and then probably the like oh, I didn't want to show you guys at first because I'm so excited about this board still. Um, probably my favorite board in the whole collection. Um, one of the first um, was it the first one of the, I think one of the my beginning shirts that I really like. One of the first shirts I remember getting um, Sean Cliver Sugar Rush. Uh, his classic boards when, when I um. I was so happy when I got this board. I came into, I just, the graphic, it's real 90s skateboarding. Um, he did a bunch of graphics for like, like kind of like that 90s skateboarding here, but it reminds me of like birdhouse boards and stuff like that, like real 90s when I, or early 2000s too. Um, super light board as I, as I like feel it too. Um, got the Sugar Rush right there. Whole graphic, real cool, like real, like, like real skateboarding, like full graphic board, really like kind of like cartoony on the back. Natural, and you got Sean Cliver's little autograph right there. Super happy to have this board. I would never, ever get rid of this board ever. If you, anyone wants it, no fucking way. Love that board. Would like to get the other ones in the series, but they they are premium price because they're really like hard to get and really sought after too. Um, I just love those like '90s kind of cartoony boards. A little more of a simpler board. Um, this is the Cause um, red box logo. These guys a little chalk box logo down here. I got the red one on the back. This is Natural. Um, world famous Supreme, like all the decks really do. Um, and that one, I forgot when that was like old. Um, yeah, that one was spring summer 2011. And then got this anti hero uh, one that's kind of like on the side of my wall. Um, it's perfect timing because they're doing another anti hero collaboration. Really cool, really great skateboarding company. It's been around for a while. Um, cool logo though. It's like a great take on like Supreme anti hero, lo anti -hero logo. Supreme Rip sticker and it here right here. I also got the green one I skated, and I'll show you guys that. And they come with this little sticker. Like, look, you put it around like a beer can or something like that. It's like a Coke. You can like drink beer in public. I remember at my skate shop, Westside Skate Shop, the owner, um, he gave my dad, like, back in the day when I was like fucking 12 or something, one of these. And I was like, what the fuck is that? It's like a, I guess you can put it around like a beer or something, make it look like a Coke. Um, yeah, but I think that's cool. I love Antihero, great company. On the back kind of has the Eagle with the spring box logo under it. This is the white one. It came out with a cruiser and then a green smaller one. I skated. It's a really cool logo. How they take like the logo and made something cool. And with this one too, with the the bird holding the box logo, that's a really cool take on the logo too. And then we'll move over here to my last kind of like nine boards or something like that. My other wall because I'm just running out of space. I don't even have some boards up anymore because I just ran out of space. Um, I'll go with this one now. I just thought this is this with this board for me. It's a great collaboration. It's an it's an iconic collaboration. It fits Supreme so well. I'm not a Yankees fan. I fucking hate the Yankees. I like the Mets. Um, New York Supreme. You got the Yankees logo down here. It's kind of like just like it's it's such a great collaboration. It's iconic. It's New York. It's Supreme. So like, I had to get it. Supreme box right there. 
New York Yankees, fully dipped navy board. On the back says New York Yankees Supreme Box logo. And we'll just move on after that. And then we got the, kind of just a little basic board. Uh, oh, and the Yankees board was from Spring Summer 15, and this is also from Spring Summer 15, 2015, uh, international board, green. I just wanted like a different color board than the black or white, so I got a green as an international board. Clean, simple. I had this on like a shirt. I got the shirt too in black. Natural on the back. And it's crazy how many boards are lining up right here. And this one, and then right here we got another big uh, collaboration from Supreme. Like one of the more iconic collaborations, um, like the 20th anniversary, something like that, something really big. Um, this is the kids, Larry Clark collaboration they did. Um, this was a fall, winter, was it spring, summer? No, spring, summer 2015. Um, this is, you got the image from the movie, Casper Steel in the 40 ounce, Supreme Box Lee down there. Gritty image, you can tell they're kind of blowing up, not the best, best quality. Natural on the back, Larry Clark, Supreme. Really cool collaboration. Like, I didn't want the other boards, I just really wanted this one. And I really like the images on the other ones. And then we can move on to um, Fall Winter, I think it was. Yeah, Fall Winter 2015, the ET board. Another kind of like blown up, kind of blurry image. Um, we got E.T. right there. Uh, I don't know, this movie was probably too early for a lot of you. This movie was almost kind of like early for me. I remember seeing it when I was real young, but barely kind of remember it. Cool, iconic movie. Um, 20, 2015, fall, winter. Um, real light board too, surprisingly, because it looks, it's like a huge fucking board. This is like an 8.5 board and it's super light. It's crazy. And then we'll move into, um, okay, I'll show you. I got three more Supreme boards that I, that I don't have. Um, up on the wall, and then we'll move into a fucking awesome. This is the Urs Fisher. This is kind of the, the cigarette series. Cool board, real high quality graphic. I think these look amazing together. It's a three part series. That one, cigarette a little bit more smoked. And then one when it's just like ashes and you got splatter all over the place. These look really cool together. Just put three of these on the wall together. I think it's, it's gonna look amazing. Um, and we'll move on to the, the fucking awesome boards over here. Um, this is the first um, boards they released. Um, they sold out pretty quick. You can pick they, you can pick your background. A lot of them sold out. But I got an orange one I skated. And then I got this um, blue one for the wall just because they're so cool. And I love Jason Dill. Um, photosynthesis. His part in that. Amazing. I remember watching that. The, the music I think was R.E.M. Had the song on it. And just everyone knows that classic fucking beautiful run when he gets off his board and he walks and jumps down the stairs like Jason Dill's amazing he does what the fuck he wants you know there's more people like that you need to skateboarding not these kind of a SLS or the fuck that's called kind of guys but I love Jason Dill um Jason Dill class photo photo board I forgot what it's called fucking awesome right there the first X they released and then we got the Anthony Van Eaglen another guy from photosynthesis when he was on DC when it was big ass links DC's and he was skating Another cool, crazy, cool guy. Um, he's on bands now. It's a whole different vibe. But I still remember his like, long hair with the big DCs back in the day. Um, his part in post synthesis was crazy too. And then my favorite skater of all time. The best the style, arguably, in skateboarding. People, you know, there's have many different opinions. But when they, when they, um, when they released the news that Gina was getting on fucking awesome, I was like, that's that's so perfect. I thought it was like just a fake rumor, but it turned out to be true, as we all know, and that's just amazing. I just love Gino. I love his style. I love how he skates. I love every. I just, I just like how he's and he's never like one to like run in front of the camera, try to be like the top guy, try to get sponsored by Monster, try to get sponsored by like I don't, you know some stupid fucking backpack company. He's always been like a true like skater, doing it for the right reasons. Doesn't even give a fuck like if he doesn't have any sponsors or anything like that. He's the reason why I started wearing Nike SBs back in the day. He made dunks look so cool. On tap. If you haven't seen On Tap, I think the first Nike video that was like a promo video, they just like only gave to shops. Watch this part in that. You'll see amazing SBs when they were actually cool in that video. Um, it's just I just think he's like he does it right. Like if there's more skaters like Gino and skateboarding, I think we'd be in a better place right now. But a lot of a lot of people think like Supreme is fucking up skateboarding. It's not, you know. So it's everyone's opinion or anything. But I just think like it'd be it's SLS and all the Monster Energy and all these like sponsors just fucking skateboarding up. Back in the day, it was like a secret society. You'd go to a fucking parking lot, you'd go to a school, like a Sunday when no one's around, and like people didn't know you existed. Now it's like, oh, you go to the skate park or some shit like that, or oh, you see this thing on TV about skateboarding? Like, no, it's not. It's, it's completely different now. Maybe it's my, like, my old guy rant, but let's get back to it though. Um, Gino in the fucking awesome font, and, like embossed all over the board. You can feel it's raised on um, that cream. And 
blue on the back. It also has the has Gino. Uh, does it just say Gino? No, it just says oh, it says fucking awesome on the back embossed. I didn't know that before. I guess um, I don't know. I've had this board since it came out. I never knew it said fucking awesome on the back. So I said Gino. But yeah, big board. I think it's like eight and a half or something like that. It's a super simple board, but cool board. It was his first board he put out, so I had to get it. Also, one is a photo. I got his photo tee, and I got Jason Dills and Anthony Van England's photo tee too with the t-shirts they released. And now their team's so much bigger now. Um, but yeah, I don't want to ramble too much to make this video so long, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, those are all my decks. Um, like I said, I'm saving right now, so it's more review. I'm more collection videos. Um, moving into a different place. Gotta furnish it. It's gonna have a fucking amazing living room with decks all spread out and have a little office kind of maybe I'll have a lot of decks against the wall that's what I'll, I'll film my videos from there so it's gonna be cool I'll, I'll do like a like a MTV Cribs kind of thing when that happens I think it'll be a really cool video and um, like I said I don't want to make this long thank you guys for watching